Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome back to my dream home, the farmhouse. This is the final part of the exterior today. What we're going to be doing is just going around to each part that we've already done, like the stable area, the Airbnb moment, the walled garden area, the patio. We're going to get some final details and just throw them all in. So that is what this part is going to be about today, including the main farmhouse itself. I do want to put some more detail on that. As of yet, I don't know what to do. And also, we're going to be making the driveway a little bit more substantial and we're going to make it look a little bit better. And just doing some final finishing touches on landscaping and all of that kind of good stuff. That is what we're going to go ahead and do today. So let's flop on over and make a start. And so here we are, my darlings. Oh, lady's just gone in. I was going to introduce you to lady, but she's gone in to see me because I'm in that barn there. But hello, here we are back at the farmhouse today. So as I said, we're going to go around and just put in the final details everywhere. Can we, Aiden, come out here at first off? Can we appreciate my horse riding attire? <laughs> Absolutely stunning pair of droppers right there, my sweetheart. We haven't really got any proper riding boots. Um, so he's got wellies on. And this is Lady. This is my, the newest member of the household. Lady is a thoroughbred and she is absolutely stunning. Look, look at us being friends. What's she saying? <gasps> Homophobic, as far as I'm concerned, Lady. I won't repeat what she just said. Anyway, so... That's what I said we are going to get up to. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to go around each part. Like we'll, we'll kind of quarter everything off and go around and put in some final details. So I think because it's fresh in our heads, why don't we start on the barn area? So let's get in to some final detailing. We'll make a start in the actual barn area itself. Now, this looks very clean and tidy to me. So I do want to make this look a little bit more messed up, I think. And I also want to get a small fridge in here as well. Makes sense. If we have got like a kettle in here, we're going to need to keep milk and stuff down here as well, aren't we? So let's get a small little, let's go for a white fridge and flop it in to this area here. Beautiful. I mean, you probably need some like cups up on the side and stuff. So let's get some mugs out. Oh, I like this one here. That's really cute, actually, because it kind of fits in with the farmy kind of theme. Can I change the colour of that wood? No, oh, I can't. There we go. Oh, lovely. I mean, that's loads of cups to keep down here, but you never know what people would want to do when you've got land like this. You could come and sit around here, couldn't you, to be honest? And maybe just somewhere small where they could have a little bit of lunch or something down here. So maybe just a small... Oh, what about that, like, cart wheel looking table? Where is that again? Yeah, this one here. This one down here with maybe just some of those plastic cheap looking chairs. I think that would be absolutely perfect. Let's flop a couple of those down. Where are you? There you are. I want them to look a little bit dirty as well. Like we've just been out for a ride and they've got all crap all over them. Or shite, you know? Oh yeah, that'd be a vibe. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that's absolutely stunning that. Maybe a bin here as well. A bin could really work here. So we'll, we'll go for Ye old Faithful and flop a bin over into the corner there. Definitely. Now I'm thinking of some kind of like stainage on the floor. You know, this floor was probably not going to be look as pristine as what it, what it does. So I think some kind of stain on the floor would be the perfect way. Mm, muddy paw prints from the dog. Definitely. And don't worry, we are going to be making Daisy for this house as well. Plus Tom. Tom and Daisy are going to get introduced in sim form once we get into the interiors. So that is definitely going to be happening. Yes, some of that, but I do also think like some of this, maybe not in the green, the green's a bit too much. Like just, just an old stain. Let's get it right up to the, the actual wall there. Plop that in just around on that point. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. And we definitely need something up on the wall here, some cabinets or something to like keep tools and stuff in. And do you know what? I think the best thing to do would just be bring over the actual kitchen cupboards that we've been using and flop that all the way just there, I think. Let me have a little look at that. Yes, let me see if that's going to be weird with that. It does slightly cut into that beam at the top there, but I'm okay with it. I think what I am going to do, though, is change the colour of the beam itself and go for a dark brown beam. Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's absolutely fine. The cabinets were built around them. You know, they were there before the cabinets, so they're staying. And maybe something up on the wall here. And I think we'll go for this weird thing that I never tend to use because it just looks like it's got loads of tools in, you know? Makes sense being down in the woodwork and shed. Oh, that's better. Just those little details. 
and it makes all the difference. And being a barn, you're probably going to be having some kind of spider down here on you. So I am going to put up some cobwebs um, up in places that I think it would need it. Like up there, definitely. I'm not going to do any on the floor because if I see cobwebs on the floor, you know they will be getting swept right up. I, I'm not scared of many things, but spiders, it's, it's just, no, it's a big no for me. It's an absolute big no for me. They freak me out. And I know that they do wonderful things the community i was gonna say then i know that they do wonderful things for the earth itself but i'm just not on board with them i'm really not um and there needs to be something here maybe some kind of old bench or something would work well there we'll go for this one here from harry's shop the look collection and just put it underneath there like that yes maybe we could bring up some wellies actually i think wellies down here would work well wellington boots please let's get the organic ones there we go and I'll flop just a couple here. Me and Tom's wellies down here. Beautiful. Oh, yes. That's the ticket. Just those little things, you know. Those little things that go ahead and make a big difference. And I think that just fills that space up quite nicely as well. In here, I wish there was... I'm sure there is, actually. I was just about to say, I wish there was some hay texture. Look at that. We're going to flop some of this all under here. And I am going to probably litter this place in a little bit more hay. Just so it looks a little bit more... Like a working hay shed, you know? Let's do that. Pop you down to there. And with it being hay, there's definitely going to be some spiders in here as well. The, the size of the spiders I used to see on the farmland around like where my parents used to live. In like the barns and stuff. Honestly, oh, they, they could carry you off and make you their bitch. They really, really could. They were that big. Some of them were the size of horses themselves. That was very dramatic me. I am lying, but I think that's just the way that we're going to go today, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of into that. And because this is probably, I wouldn't say older, but I reckon this has got an older roof on it. Maybe some kind of like drippage, you know, like dripping down. So it kind of looks a little bit more weathered here. I think that could be a good vibe, actually. So if I can put you to like there, let me have a little look inside. I mean, you can't really see it, but it, I, I know it's there. And I know it's those final little details that just make all the difference, you know? Oh, I'm for it. And I might go over into the corner with this detail here and just bring it, yeah, just into the corner there. And maybe on the outside, so it makes it look a little bit more damp here too. We'll do two of them. One and two there. Yes, I think that could work. I mean, it's very subtle, but I, again, I know it's there and that's all that matters, you know? Lovely. Um, I'm happy with how this field is looking. I don't think it needs anything else. One of you did mention that foxgloves are poisonous to horses. I do know that, but this is the Sims. We're just going to go along those routes. But as, as much as I appreciate realness and realistic things in the Sims, sometimes I just prefer it to look pretty. And there we go. It looks lovely with the foxgloves, so we're keeping it like that. That's it. I'm happy with how the stables and the barn is looking. Very happy. I think what we're going to do is move on to the Airbnb accommodation. So again, this place has got quite a lot of stuff in already. So I don't want to go too mad on everything. So I'm just going to break it down into little parts and see what else I could add in here. I think into the bedroom, some kind of mirror would be good in this room. So I might do like a, a full length mirror here and maybe a little picture up on the side here. I think we're going to go for this one because I do love the lean on that. I think that would work in this room as well. It might struggle with the fact that they might, you know, struggle at getting around on this part. I will play test it to make sure that they can and that mirror might change, but I'm going to leave it there for the minute. I do want to go slightly darker with the mirror though. Yeah, like that. That's perfect. And then like a lovely picture up on the wall here. I think we're going to do a little gallery wall of some kind. Can you see like, how cute is that? Daisy's little face. She wants to get in on this video. And do you know what? She is more than welcome. We're going to do some kind of little gallery wall here. So I'm going to flop these up. And I'm going to put a hat with it as well. Just for something a little bit different. In fact, I'm going to put you up there. No, I'm not. I'm going to pull you down to here. And put that smaller picture up there like that. Just, you know. Je ne sais quoi What more could be said sometimes? Just those little subtle changes, you know? And maybe some kind of rug in here as well. Now I'm using this rug to death and I will be using it in the house to death because I'm in love with it. Uh, this is from uh, Harry's Coastal Collection. I love this rug. And I think just having it at the end of the bed like here would be perfect. Let me get it in a good position like there. Yes, but I think the colour does need to be a little bit darker 
There we go. Yeah, I do like that. Oh, I'm full that I really bloody am. So into the actual main area itself. Again, I don't want to over clutter this with things and stuff. But I feel maybe even like a couple of pans up on the wall here would just suffice. Um, and even maybe like a bottle of wine or something in here as well for a couple of glasses for the, you know, people who come and stay here. I think that would be a lovely touch. That's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Oh, and these pans here, pans and saucepans from uh, Pierre Sims Woodland Ranch, I think would be absolutely perfect. And we have got some floating nectar here, but I think what I probably need to do is shuffle this around a little bit more here. So we'll pop you to there. Some welcome cookies and biscuits up on the side there. And then you can come here and be placed in kind of that position, I think. Oh, that's hanging off the edge, of course it is. Let's get you in a little bit tighter there, my dear. A little welcome moment. Yes. Yeah, I think that would work. That's very precarious on the side there, but it, that's where it stays. That is indeed where it's going to stay. And I think what we need around here as well is maybe some robes. I would, yeah, I would do that. I would like supply some lovely dressing robes. What I'm going to do is stick them side by side here and here and then move these across a little bit more. Plop you to there, my dear. Same with, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one above the other like this. Very unlike me. And then move these across just so they're not too squished. But one there and one there like that. And now being in a bathroom, I do want to get a bin in here as well. So I think what I'm going to do, it doesn't need to be usable. I'm fine with that. But I'm going to do a tiny little pedal bin and just plop it into the corner like that, you know. For all of your sanitary needs, I think that would be the perfect way to go. And on the edge of the bath here, I'm going to put some bath salts. I would su supply some local bath salts for you to wash all your bits and bobs in, you know. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, that looks very nice. Again, do you know what I mean? Just all of those little final details makes a big difference at the end. So out here, I kind of used this here as kind of like a control for the hot tub. We all know what it is, but that's what I'm going ahead and pretending that's what it is. That was a lovely sentence, Aiden. You should again write that one down because that was amazing. Um, nothing much needs to go out here, I don't think. I wouldn't mind some kind of mat down here. So when you get out, you like step on anything but the gravel, you know. Oh, these could be really cute, actually. I might just use these here. And I'm also going to hang up two robes in the sauna as well. We'll just pretend that these are hooks. So these would be empty hooks. I don't really have any empty hooks in game. I used to, but I got rid of that CC because I never used it. But other than that, I don't really feel like we need to put any more detail onto this part either. I think we've got everything that we need. But what I might do is just put some candles out on the picnic table area here. I'm going to go for an old. In fact, I'm gonna, I want to go for a bit more of an older style lantern. So let's use this one lovely yes oh yeah that's better little candle lantern on the picnic table stunning we've got ourselves a lovely little fire pit here everything else is a-okay now i still haven't done all of the landscaping around these parts i did want to put some grass and bits and bobs and perfect up this terrain paint a little bit more so we're going to get into a speed build format and i'm just going to go around here and perfect out that landscaping <laughs> There we go just really simple just some nice grass around by the stone wall and a couple of mushrooms and we're done with that now we're going to move on to this area over in this quarter and what i want to do is perfect up the terrain paint a little bit i think the gravel needs to be slightly darker where the wall is i also want to go through and put some ivy up on this wall i think ivy would look really lovely here um but i am going to have to probably size this down quite a lot yes can I go up one more than that? Was that too big? That's too big. Never mind. I'll just do two of these. So I'm going to do some on the corner here. I'm not really liking how that's looking for some reason. I think maybe even sticking with what we've got here with these. I think they could work a lot better. 
Let's have a little look at this. Yes. Yeah, that's much better, actually. I do prefer that. Okie dokie. There's even some lovely, like, floor pieces here as well, which I'm going to do. It does slightly go over the top there, but I'm going to forgive it. And we're going to continue onwards. I want to do some around on this side. Flop you around to here. I don't necessarily want to do this all the way around on the walls and stuff. Maybe a bit over here, actually. They could definitely do with some here. Let's uh, turn you down. And then lift you up a little bit. There we go. And the same here as well. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Just that, you know? It's just th those little differences. And I say this all the time. They make such big differences. They really, really do. They do. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. From me, your guide to being absolutely anal with little tiny final details. <laughs> and then what I want to do is, as I said, go into the terrain painting and just just soften up the edges here. I might even bring that right down. Oh, there's a little rabbit there. I've only just noticed him. Hello, love. And I'm going to go around here and do it around here as well. You know, so much difference. Let's put a little bit more of that around where the wood is. And I'm like, yes. Yes, that's the ticket right there, my love. It really is. Very much so. Now, I do, do I need to do anything in this garden? I don't think I do. I think I've got everything that I want in here. I would prefer that to be a little bit more like that, though. Drop you off to the corner there. But I think I've got all of the details in here that I want in here. So I'm going to leave that as it is for the minute. Yeah, fine. Fabulous. Let's move on to the back patio. No, I don't know what else to bring out here. So I'm going to have a little think and maybe drag a few things out that I feel this is missing a little bit. So I'm pretty happy with how the patio is. There's a couple of things that I want to add in, though, just for kind of realism purposes. And a small little herb garden would be perfect. So I'm going to do a couple of planters maybe on this side of this, uh, what, would you, what would you call it, wildflower planter. And then put some over on this side here as well. Because this is near the kitchen, I just think having some like basil and parsley and stuff and rosemary and thyme growing out here would be perfect. Do we? I don't even think we have rosemary and thyme in the game, do we? I have no idea. That is a absolute travesty because those are both of my favourite herbs. Well, basil as well. Basil, basil, rosemary and thyme. Love them. Especially lemon thyme. Lemon thyme can get in my stomach right now. I can't wait for the summer. But little herb garden so they can I can come straight out from the kitchen and just pick it here rather than traipsing all the way down into the ward garden, you know? Just for ease of access. And then I thought with these chairs here, just add in a couple of pillows, just so they look a little bit more comfortable around the fire, you know? I did have to size these down, but I'm going to put them... Um, Oh, for goodness sake, stay where you are. I'm going to put them on each of the chairs here. <laughs> Maybe not like that. You need, you need to get back, my darling. Thank you. There we go. Is that one floating as well? Nope, that one's fine. Uh, so we're going to do a wifty woo and then a wopty wop like that. The words that come out of my mouth sometimes, <laughs> I have no idea where they come from. They just come from somewhere in the deep, darkest crevices of my cranium. Um, I'm going to flop you up to there. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh, bloody hell, I did a bit too much of a spin then. <laughs> I, was, I went on one. I'm going to do another one here as well. What am I doing? There we go. Whiffle you into place like that. Yes. And then again, these can be put into the storage here if it rains and whatnot, which it most likely will because we are in the UK, you know? So there we are. Bob's your uncle. Fanny is your absolute aunt. That's lovely. Oh, God. I love doing all the little tinkery finishing pieces. I really do. Now, up into this lawn area, again, nothing too much. I think what I want to add in up here are some bluebells. Oh, my house would be littered in them, I tell you. Absolutely littered in them. And also crocuses. I've seen some people who do, who do crocus lawns. They get the big drill piece and drill loads of holes, put crocus bulbs in their lawn. And then like January and February time, the crocuses come out and you just get this big like blanket of flowers on your lawns. And I just love that. I don't like a manicured lawn. I know we've got a very much watermelon striped one here. I would love to have that, but I'm much more about wild kind of looking sort of like foliage. I really am very much so. Yeah, 
you know what? I'm happy. I'm very happy with how this is looking. Very happy indeed. I think just to finish off the back of the house, I might want to carry this wisteria up onto this side of the wall here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a little, a nice blanket of it up onto this area here. Let's connect you through so you look like you actually belong there. Lovely. And we'll do some more of these just at the top like that. Just to sort of swamp around that area. But I am very much for that indeed. I think also what I would probably want to do around here is bring in some of those solar lights and just add a few of them in this flower bed. Maybe I'll do like one here, one over on this part here, and then maybe a couple just in the front areas here. One there. We'll do a couple more over this side. We're going to need to see them at some There we go. One there and then one over there as well. Are you floating? No, you seem to be fine. Oh, yes. Oh, she's a dream. She really is. So we're going to make a start on the drive. Now, I don't want too much here. I definitely want to put some more like grass and stuff up here. I don't think I'm going to put a fence here because it's kind of got one here. You know, this is the entrance to my land. So I don't feel it needs one there. So I'm going to leave that. But we've already got the Land Rover. We've already got the Defender. And we don't, I would definitely get it in that colour green as well. These are just the vision of my childhood. I used to see these everywhere. And I still do. You still see them everywhere now. But that just my, I'm hearing them come up like all of the country lanes when I was small and stuff. Like it's just, it's just my childhood in a nutshell, loves. It really is. And I've also found a dream car of mine. So I'm going to get that out. And look at her. Oh, again, a childhood thing. Living in Devon and Cornwall. You see these everywhere with camp, like people who love to camp out, van lifers, and also surfers. There's lots of surfers around where I am. And I love the cream color, but there is a darker cream, which I do prefer. It's a bit more of a, yeah, that, that like beige tone. Well, I don't know what it says modern on there. I don't know who did this. Oh, Modern Crafter CC. Oh, there you go. Modern Crafter made it. That makes sense with the um, number plate. Obviously, that's an American number plate and not a British one. But we're just going to go for it anyway. Yes, we are a joke. And I'm going to flop my little camper out the front of the house here. Oh, I'm very jealous. It's beautifully made this. You can even get inside. Look, I had a little nose earlier. Look, this would be different to mine. I would have this set out with a bed and stuff rather than this sort of table. Um, but I do like it either way, I really do. But it's gorgeously done, this is. I mean, it is very alpha. It is very, like, clean graphic. It doesn't really suit the other graphics, but I'm still going to have it anyway. I don't care. It's my dream house. That's what I'm going to do. I think what I would probably do is park the cars over here. I think this would lend itself a little bit better to having a little bit more of a car parking area here. And then you can still get access and stuff up this side, you know? So that's what I'm going to do. Park the cars there. Beautiful. And I definitely want two big kind of flower pots down here. And I love the ones from base game. So I'm going to grab them. Yeah, these ones here. Obviously, very large. Can I do? Can I get away with having them that big? Oh, do you know what? I could. I'm going to do it. My dream house. <laughs> Every time I like question something, my dream house. You know, not yours, mine. Uh, that one's floating, but it, it is because it's a magical pot. From, no, I'm not going to go into a story. We're not going to do that today. Minus 0.2. Oh, oh, she's sunk. No, that's perfect. Oh, stunning. Yes. Yeah, that would be the ticket right there, my loves. It really would. Oh, I'm for it. And then just to finish off around here, I do want to bring a bit of this grass in. I'm not going to like litter it down. I'm going to go very minute with it and just have it in little pockets, I think, rather than going all the way down with the grass just so it looks a little bit more realistic, you know? And we definitely need some under this hedge here as well. So I'm going to litter you and just stagger you around. Don't go floating. There we are. And then bring you all the way up to here as well. Beautiful. Stunning. Cover girl, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this one. Bring you into there. Tuck you into the wall a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go down twice here. Plop you to there. Bring you once more and put a little bit of grass there as well. Yes. And there is a smaller little bit of grass. Where are you? Oh, we used it on my fascinating drain story yesterday, didn't we? So we'll use this and just put this by the actual gate posts themselves. I've got one piece there. And then I'm going to do another little piece around here. 
And that space there was really bugging me. So I'm going to bring up some of this grass and just cover that area a little bit more. Let's size you down twice and just bring you to there like that. Yes, that's better. That is the ticket. So that was not much on the driveway, but I just, I think it's just perfect. My loves, we're done with the exterior and the gardens. Oh, I've loved doing this series. I really have. I don't want it to end, but I already know the next Dreamhouse series and that is going to be coming very soon as well. I'm probably going to be bringing out one part of Let's Build the World's Henford on Bagley and then the next part of my dream home, the next one. So we'll kind of mix them up um, once this part has ended. But we still haven't done the interiors yet. We're going to be breaking the interiors down into separate areas of the house. So I think we're going to start off with the kitchen and dining room next week. That is going to be a whole part and then we'll go and do a living room. This is a smaller living room and I've got a media room here. So I might mix them two together and have it that in a part. Go upstairs, do the bedrooms, etc., etc. That is the plan. So that is what we're going to do. But anyway, my dears, I'm going to leave you now. Let's get a lovely little shot of my little camper in there as well. Beautiful. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me some lovely comments and I'll see you all then. Goodbye.